They're small, they're definitely pocket sized, and they're designed to make both home theater and business presentations infinitely more portable. I'm Erin and today on the blog we are taking a look at this. It's the Asus Zenbeam E1 Pocket Projector. These projectors are also known as Pico projectors and what this category basically allows you to do is make your home entertainment and your presentations more portable. So what the projectors do is they're battery powered and they allow you to connect to things like laptops, though they only work with Windows and Android devices, but you can also connect using the HDMI cable in the back. We've got this one here connected to a Roku streaming stick for home entertainment, but you could just as easily connect it to the Google Chromecast device or to a Blu-ray player like the Samsung Ultra HD version that we've got right here. Now, it's worth noting that though the projector itself is battery powered and fully portable, none of these devices are. So if you're going to use it in a home theater context with any of these devices, you pretty much need AC power anyway, making the battery kind of redundant. This device has a built-in rechargeable battery that gives you five hours of cable-free projection time. It also doubles as a power bank to charge mobile devices on the go. It's got a light output of 150 lumens, which is the measure of brightness. Now, by comparison, other Pico projectors have 200 and up to 700 lumens of brightness, and full-size projectors have several thousand lumens, meaning that, comparatively speaking, the Asus Zenbeam 1 is a candle flicker compared to a police searchlight. In a room that gets daylight, the picture is almost invisible. In a dark room, the picture improves, but even then I don't think I'd enjoy sitting for two hours and watching a movie with it. In the back of the Zen Beam, you'll find a headphone jack on the left, HDMI, USB, and of course, power. Now, despite what you might think, the USB plug in the back doesn't allow you to play content from a memory stick. It's output only, and that's for using it as a power bank to recharge your devices. You can easily use this device with an external streaming gadget, like a Google Chromecast or a Roku streaming stick. But if you want to use any other devices like a laptop, it only works with Windows or Android, meaning Apple users, you're going to be left out in the cold. The bottom line is this tiny projector just doesn't have the power or the brightness to either thrill presentation attendees or to make movie watchers swoon. So if you're looking for this for a home theater application, you're definitely going to want to get a full size projector. You'll be much happier. Thanks for watching my video. The full version of this blog review is online at the Best Buy plugin blog. Go ahead and check it out there. And if you're liking what you're watching, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure to like this video as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ErinLYYC.